Aries, welcome back to Joya Knows. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a personal, the information is below. If you'd like to join members, just go on the page and click join. We're going to go ahead and say a quick prayer and then we'll jump into it. So Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Aries on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. It is currently 6.54 p.m. I'm hearing 654321. Today is March 27th of 2024. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm hearing something about the next three days. So Aries, I have been holding on to your reading for almost a week, at least for the last six days. Also, happy birthday, by the way. I hope you're having a great start to your season, a great start to the astrological new year. I have really been enjoying the fresh energy and I hope you guys have as well. So like I said, I've been holding on to your reading for the last six days. I'm going to give you guys a background of what led me to your reading and then we'll go ahead and jump into the channel messages and then we will jump into the cards. Um, let me grab one more deck actually. Okay. Beautiful. So your reading began on March 21st, the day that we switched into Aries season. So literally, I had just finished the Gemini reading and it was my good friend's birthday that night. So I was going to go get food to cook for all of us. I was going to go get a birthday gift for them. And before I left, the word on my mind was vintage. I'm like, I got to find him like either a vintage motorcycle jacket or like a vintage sports tee, something, just something cool, something that he could rock, you know, something that matches his vibe. He's an Aries, you know, so you got to do good. And also we've been friends for like over a decade. So there's just like a lot of weight there. Anyway, I leave to go ahead to get the food, to get the gift. And on my way, I pass like this vintage antique yard sale and they're all packing up. And I'm like, I see them all the time, but I normally don't pull over, but I swear something else took over. I made a U-turn, a legal U-turn at that. Shker! And there's a crow parallel to my car going in the same direction. So I'm like, yeah, there's definitely something over there for me. So I park, I get out of the car. I'm looking around at everything. I'm trying to ask the lady like, oh, do you guys do this often? She's like, no. I'm like, do you have anywhere that can let me know like when you do another one? She's like, no, not really. I'm like, okay. So I guess this is like a once in a lifetime thing then, sarcastically. <laughs> but nonetheless, I start looking around. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. There's a couple things that are standing out to me. And then um, as I thought I had looked at everything, I look on the ground and then the light just hits this gold thing. And I look down and I see this shield. And instantly when I saw it, I was like, oh, I need that. Like, I'm not, I don't know what this is, but that's something that I need. I feel like that's something that's mine. I feel like this is something that looks familiar, but how much is this? Like, I'm taking this home with me. I buy the shield, put it in my trunk, go on about my day, get the gift, get the food, cool. Now, I forgot all about the shield until I think the next night. The next night, that's when I finally got it out of my car. And then it wasn't until the next morning that I woke up and I was looking at it. And I literally thought to myself, I'm like, what bitch do you know has a shield? So I'm like, well, let me see. I go on Google, I type in shields. I'm like, is this like a common thing? Like, I know my uncle used to collect samurai swords and he had them lined up on the wall, but I never seen anybody with a shield, you know? So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm scrolling for like three minutes. And then finally, I see this shield. And I'm like, oh my God, like that's my shield right there. I click it. Tell me why this is the shield of Jerusalem. And I'm like, okay, okay. So here comes that biblical energy once again. And then also I repost, like I post on the community. Does, does anybody know what reading I mentioned, this dream that I had talking about you need your sword and you guys found it for me. It was a Sagittarius reading. It's called in 24 hours, the first day of forever, et cetera, et cetera. It has the middle finger on the shirt. 
that reading i told you guys all about my dream about meeting your sword you know i was standing with those two geishas we were about to go on stage i had no idea what the fuck we were about to do but they're like girl like you need your sword you need your sword and sword symbolize truth so now for you guys i'm seeing the uh, the other end of that spectrum for whatever reason i'm hearing you need your shield you need your protection at this time okay so let's go ahead and get um into this message also you could be dealing with a sagittarius i'll put that sagittarius reading in the description box below where i mentioned that dream that i had in case it holds any rev rev <laughs> relevancy for you i'm hearing revelations as well um but yeah i'm also seeing there could have been a situation i'm seeing in a foreign land with two other people like i said i was standing with those two women those two geishas and they told me that i needed my sword as well okay let me just pull from this deck since it came out and then we'll get into your channel messages in the meantime go back in your camera roll something about march 1st may give you a clue as to what this reading is about or what could be coming full circle but yeah everything ties back i'm hearing all roads lead to the fact that you need your shield also set an alarm for 7 57 p.m you're going to receive a confirmation of this reading okay yeah you have entering the chamber of healing in reverse so it's like you've been in this chamber you've been in the darkness so now i see it's like you're coming out of this temple which was protected which was where you were able to heal but now since that's over you need your protection once again so when we get into the cards we'll be able to see a little bit better of what this is pertaining to but i have some very interesting channel messages so first things first i told you go back to march 1st in your camera roll when i went back in my own notes my own camera roll i had a dream of that on that day of a huge mudslide like a really big mudslide and i was standing kind of at the edge looking at everything that had slid down it's giving avalanche energy just take it how it resonates we'll tie that full circle in a little bit but i'm seeing a situation for some of you you may need your shield you may need some type of protection and i was seeing something regarding extortion set a timer for 22 hours 37 minutes and nine seconds if this doesn't directly affect you this could be something that we find out globally but yeah i'm hearing extortion for some of you this could be over a photo i'm seeing attached image 18 photos or 18 documents something like that for some of you this is information documents photos from 2016 but i'm hearing fine or like i'm seeing something about a settlement like fine i'll settle this to avoid a tower moment i was also hearing to look up the significance of 1957 we'll do that in a second for some of you I'm, i was hearing yes sir and add a boy so this could be somebody kind of like dangling a carrot almost or um how do you say it's like constantly using something against you like oh well if you don't do this you know these 18 photos let me see what the significance of 1957 was <clears throat> Okay, it says here, in October, be dealing with the Libra, Scorpio, the Soviet Union launched the first space satellite, Sputnik the first. It was followed in November by the spacecraft Sputnik the second, which carried Laika, the first animal to orbit the Earth in December. The first U.S satellite launch effort failed spectacularly when its vanguard rocket exploded during liftoff so yeah for some of you i was getting a situation where it's like you have all these really great things i feel like you've come very far you have all these really great things it says there was a spacecraft one then a spacecraft two and then everything exploded and also going back to that mudslide you know how everything's fine and then a mudslide happens everything just kind of like goes downward you know so just be careful i'm seeing a situation where because of this extortion because of this problem because of this situation i'm seeing a butterfly cracked in half like whatever this information is it has the power to destroy everything some of you could be a specialist 
assistance or some type of curator. I'm also seeing another situation. If it's not extortion, you could have thought you threw something away. And maybe like, I don't know, somebody went through your trash. I'm seeing somebody having access to some type of letter here. Yeah, all the shoes fell from the sky. Painting joy across the sky. So yeah, you could be dealing with air energy. You have two, um, two, how do you say? Two, wait one second. Two indications, yeah, leading to towards air energy. I'm also hearing toying with you as well. For some of you, if this sounds familiar, I'm also hearing set another alarm for 923. You're going to get confirmation of that as well when that alarm goes off. But yeah, this shoe is in the shape of a skunk here. I'm seeing something having the power to kind of like, I'm hearing da, 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 funky town, like, cause some odor around something that's otherwise pleasant so just be careful you guys get a shredder if you're dealing with really confidential or really um uh, how do you say personal information and you're trying to get rid of things just get a, sh a shredder you know so you don't have to worry about your trash being manipulated or your information being manipulated in any way just take those extra precautions in order to protect yourself but what i am seeing as well i'm hearing you're working with artemis and artemis she rules chastity hunting and the moon so whoever's doing this to you with the moon in secret i see them like i see artemis one step behind this person with her bow and her arrow like i wish you fucking would so going back to your shield i'm seeing her also serving as your protection as well spiritually um yeah also you could be dealing with an aquarius i was hearing bear claw but watch the aquarius reading this happens fast like i'm seeing everything's just so good and then all of a sudden it's like ooh, you know what it's reminding me of there's this one sorry for always referring back to this but there's this one black mirror episode where pretty much there are these anonymous anonymous people and they're like oh i have information on you you better go do this 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 or that and then everything's gonna get leaked but they end up leaking it all anyway but before they do anything or at the very end they send this emoji of this like joker face or this like weird face but i'm seeing that it's like everything's fine and then you receive that emoji and you instantly kind of know what it means and it's like ah oh, shit you know and whatever information they had it's like this person's de deepest darkest secrets or like really confidential like oh you're having an affair or oh you're watching inappropriate things online you know like things that have the power to like i said rip that butterfly in half so be extra careful you guys protect yourself whatever that means for you whatever it is that you do um your birthday could be april 3rd i'm seeing something about um jambalaya makes me think of new orleans your grandmother could be from jumbo uh, your grandmother could be from jambalaya your grandmother could be from new orleans for some of you um i'm hearing the name emmanuel and i'm hearing the name Luis as well but okay let's move forward you may receive a letter to go to a very important event i'm seeing something about a palace this event may take place at a really nice place or a really big home um some of you could be eating kale chips or you may want to snack on that if you're having trouble like finding healthy things to snack on the card that came out it says when you're neither here nor there that gives me the energy of kind of being not elusive but you can't really pinpoint what aries doing if you're neither here nor there nobody can say oh aries is doing this oh i know aries is here for sure it's like oh you're neither here nor there so i feel like that's also what spirit wants you to kind of take on at this time just in order to keep everything balanced because i just feel like you have so much prosperity like you have so much prosperity in your hands and you don't want just one little slip up one little mistake to just have all of that ambulance i'm hearing avalanche from underneath you i'm seeing a rug being pulled from underneath somebody's feet so take heed yeah um let me see anything else oh i don't know what my neighbor was playing but i heard this song playing and i was able to look up the lyrics and it's this song it's called mac tub by uh gary clark jr 
And I felt like that also went along with the message and I heard it while I was channeling for you. So I wrote that down. I just want to look up the lyrics to that really quick. Also, go ahead and make a note on your calendar of May 7th, 2024. I'm hearing 9.40 a.m. You're going to be doing something between 8 and 10 hours. For some of you, this may involve like scans, laboratory, a trip to the doctor. For others of you, I'm hearing something about a recital. So there could be something about rehearsals, dress rehearsals, fitting, so on and so forth but May 7th, 2024, 9.40 a.m. That's going to be a very important day and you're going to be locked away for the better part of the day. So just keep that in mind. Also, one more message here. You have an ex that was like, oh, go be with that person then. Go be with somebody else then. Like, forget it. And I feel like you're going to find out that person misses you. I'm seeing double Sagittarius energy. Um, okay, this song, Maktub. First of all, what's the meaning of this word? Wow, the word means it is written. It says maktub is an Arabic word meaning it is written. Deals with the philosophy philosophical idea of fate or destiny and is significantly incorporated into islam from a mystical point of view it points to the fact that whatever happens is already known to be the one um where god is usually addressed as the one okay god bless so i'm also getting whatever it is that you're experiencing it's written for you to experience this like obviously something a lot better something very transformative is going to come out of this maybe there's a really big lesson that you're meant to learn from whatever this is let me look up the lyrics here and i want to pull a card from um my destiny deck i'm hearing 44 <clears throat> Yeah, the lyrics were so eerie. Like when they came through and I was channeling, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm so glad I was able to hear enough to catch it. So this song, it says by Gary Clark. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to listen to it. You have dreams on the bottom of the deck, but the lyrics, it says, uh, they're coming through. They're gunning for you. We know the truth. So we're making moves. While they're beating the block, we're going straight to the top. So we got to move in the same direction. We got to move. Time for a new revolution. We got to move. You can't stop the message. Life's for sale. Pay attention. This just is so suspicious. Don't want to be another victim. So we got to move in the same direction. Time for a revolution. Da -da -da -da. Says, huh, it's time to deal with this trauma. Turn trauma in together. Rewrite the mission statement regardless who's doing the shooting. We got to stop doing ourselves on the pavement. And if we don't get it ourselves, I'm hearing get out of your own way. If we don't get it ourselves, then we can't be mad when we don't receive the paper. We've come too far for ourselves to look back and say that's the way it went. Da -da -da -da. Okay, we got to move. We got to move in the same direction. Time for a new revolution. All right. I'm also getting like you may be asked to go in a certain direction. And if you oppose this, then like maybe things will go downhill, you know. So just make sure you're not getting in your own way. Check your own ego during your season. Like I'm seeing that Leo card. I don't, I can't think of what deck it is, but it's like, don't let your pride get in your way. Don't let your ego get in your way. Let me see shuffle for Aries. Yeah, the dragon here. We're in the year of the dragon. You have the castle here. Anything else for Aries before we jump in? Wow, what fell on the floor? Okay, so some of you guys, you're in some type of partnership or fellowship. It says the masquerade, road to nowhere, and the fellowship. So some partnership that you're involved in right now, with whoever it is that you need to be, nor here, nor there, whoever you need to use the shield for, if you continue on the path with this person, you won't be going anywhere. Some of you, hold on one second. Yeah, and I'm also seeing a situation where something has like, something could last or fuck up like the next seven years for you. Hold on one second. 
Oh no, wait, hold on, sorry, one second. I'm hearing the next nine years. For some of you, if something isn't like resolved now or eradicated now, put to the side now, it has the potential to be an effect or be something that causes some type of turbulence. I'm hearing for the next nine years. I'm hearing till 2033, all right? So you have the number 18. You could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer here. But yeah, the masquerade is definitely here. So that's why you need your shield. If people are wearing masks, then you need your shield. That's your mask you know but i'm hearing you're not fake so you can't wear a mask you know aries doesn't wear a mask aries is the emperor aries comes forthright so what you need to do is protect yourself you know it's a whole different vibe but you're still living in your truth if that makes sense let people be and do who they what they want to do i'm hearing who they want to do uh for some of you this could be about a third party situation but yeah you always remain true to you that's all you have to do here um and protect yourself like i said so let's get into your reading yeah once again road to nowhere phoenix i'm also seeing with the heroine coming out upright like a female hero it's like if you um like if you don't stand up and kind of go in your own direction continue what it is that you're doing and you continue to collaborate or have that fellowship yeah I just see everything sliding down. I'm also seeing quick stand, like something happens really, really quickly. Karma changes really, really quickly. Maybe for some of you, you're in a business partnership or in a dynamic or relationship where somebody, you have amazing karma and somebody has horrible karma. So you don't want the next years of their suffering to rub off on you. You know what I mean? So however that plays out for you, just keep it in the back of your mind. Go back to March 1st and see if you have a clue as to what any of this is, but you'll definitely, I feel like, be able to make sense of this. I'm hearing by tomorrow. Yeah, if the wild ones come with sticks. And that's reminding me of the pirates reading, like the pirates are coming through the portal. There were so many readings about the ships and everybody coming through like, ah, all of them I'll put in the description box below, all right? <laughs> Some of you Aries, they're all coming towards you. hot very hot oh my god it's like really hot and i'm seeing somebody receive a message and all of a sudden it's like their whole body turns hot and i'm also seeing it worse it's like oh uh, it's like being in the middle of a conference or somewhere where you're stuck like you're at somewhere important so you can't even like react you can't really like do too much about it here but for some of you i feel like you heard of something yesterday with a hummingbird and you're going to be taking action like tomorrow's the day to take action tomorrow's the day to do something you see the jaguar here in the tree it's like if he's been sitting in the dark kind of watching everything that's going on i feel like tomorrow's the day where he climbs out of the tree and he moves forward i'm seeing that aries reading 2 25 p.m your lucky day etc etc yeah many paths here shuffle for aries For some of you, you're in a dynamic or a partnership that's interrupting your flow or your ability to kind of like stay in a decent current. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, uh, let me grab, sorry, there's so many extra decks to get. Yeah, I'm seeing a door that needed to be closed in 2012. Okay, if you're a feminine energy, this could be a thing where there's certain people that you may hang out with on like a superficial level like people that you wouldn't necessarily call like hey i'm going through this i don't know what to do but i'm seeing there's like people who maybe you get together with socialize with party with here 
Um, I feel like time's up. Maybe you've been around these people for like six years, but I feel like time's up because whatever you're walking into, this Three of Cups here is not going to be sufficient when it comes to supporting I'm hearing what you're walking into. You know, I feel like, I don't know, maybe the people that you're around, the partnerships that you're involved in, they're not like as, I'm hearing forthright once again as you. I'm seeing, I'm hearing once again, superficial, superficiality. So just be careful of that and don't expect all this protection and all this, how do you say? Don't expect people to have your back in that type of way when it's just on this basis you know so don't be expecting too much from people you're like oh we've been partying for six years that doesn't mean shit you know have they been having your back for six years you need to start looking at your your dynamics like that your relationships like that yeah death and transformation like i said you're walking into something that needs severe protection and whatever you have around you right now is not gonna make the cut page of swords a lot of it is just no longer in alignment. And this reminds me of, oh my God, I saw something on Twitter the other day that was like, oh, I got rid of so many of my crystals and it cleared up so much, so much of the energy. And I looked at my crystals and I'm like, yo, I've had a lot of these crystals for years. So I used my pendulum to go over like what crystals I need to get rid of, what crystals have done their job. And over half my crystals I got rid of, you know? So there may be like times up, they did their part. It's time to move forward. It's time for new energy. Yeah, that's it. Nothing's coming out here. There's no more left in this story. Like, there's nothing past what it was. So make sure you look at your relationships, look at your friendships, and anything that just feels very, yeah, anything that just feels very touch and go, I don't feel like it's it's going to be necessary for much longer. You're walking into a contract. Then you have big little lies on the bottom of the deck. I'm also seeing like situations where you need people to sign NDAs, like you don't really trust people like that here. Yeah, so I'm here to just cut it off while you're already ahead. Let's see, shuffle for Aries. Oh, going back to those letters, notebooks, something. For some of you, it could be like documentation. I just see private information. Like don't leave your books. Don't leave your even planners. Don't leave anything unattended. You know, if you know there's people that are also going in that space. For some of you, it could be in the workplace. Like I'm seeing somebody that just like, you know, obviously the building gets locked, but I see somebody leaving like their very personal notebooks, documents like on their desk where anybody could just walk by swipe them up real quick walk back by a couple hours later and put it back after you've left you know so just be careful now it's not the time to just be like oh it's fine like oh no one's gonna do anything no they, they're doing something they've done something and a lot of it here like i said i heard 18 attached documents or 18 attached images here you have be a peaceful warrior help those in need remember your magnificent magnificence Let's see. Anything else for Aries here? If the wild ones come with sticks. And like I said, I feel like you're very reserved. You're very respected. You have a lot going for you. You have a lot that you built. You have a lot, you know, on the table. And you're around these wild ones just holding sticks. So you're around like Page of Wands. And the devil at that. Page of Wands with devil energy. These are like badass children cosplaying as your friends cosplaying as your tribe you know so and once again going back to the very beginning i told you i saw a butterfly ripped in half look at this cut it's a butterfly but with all these people with the sticks and you're not realizing it you know what are they going to do with those sticks too many sticks are going to crack that cup you know so just be careful aries like Stay ahead while you're already ahead so you don't have to 
climb out because i see it's like maybe you've been in this protection mode everything's been kosher everything's been copacetic so maybe you got too comfortable in thinking that that chamber of healing lasts forever like nah nah you got to come out of the sauna at some point you know you can't stay in that chamber forever you do the detoxifying any longer you're going to lose too much fluid and then you're going to be dehydrated you know so it was time to come out it was time to oh my light outside just turned on it was a flip a switch of the flip once again here's that again but it was time for you to come out you know but you're just gonna have to be on your p's and q's like i'm seeing it's like somebody uh i feel like you get the point i'm seeing somebody that was like living in a bad area move to like a great area and just like put all their guards down not realizing you're even more of a target because you're living in a nicer area you know so now's not the time to get like lazy when it comes to how you're protecting yourself god bless we have one more spread we have one more spread yeah y'all have information coming to you fast i'm also seeing something about i'm seeing like an announcement i'm seeing something presidential i'm seeing dc could be significant shuffle for aries The lovers in reverse. Hopefully not, but for some of you, this could be an ex, like in their feelings, threatening you in some type of way. Sagittarius energy with Gemini energy coming out in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. It's in reverse if the taste is sweet and good so for some of you yeah this was a situation where everything was fine before everything was good before and i'm seeing 638 remember that that aquarius reading it's like at 639 um goodbye to the old hello to the new so for some of you it's like you've moved on you said goodbye to the old hello to the new but they're still at 638 they're still a minute late a dollar short you know so somebody hasn't moved on and they could be taking out like bitter actions towards you because of their hurt feelings i'm hearing that song by mac miller hurt the hurt feelings so just be careful yeah just be careful and also this honey, the honeycomb. So I cooked for my friends last night and I made cornbread and I, something told me like, oh, let me glaze it with honey before I put it in the oven, which I should have done it afterwards. Cause then right after I thought, no, nah, like let me just drizzle it after, but I wanted it to cook. And when I took it out of the oven, they were so dark on top. I thought I fucking burnt them. I was like, oh my God, you know? So something, it was honey before, but very quickly it turned into like ash, right? So you can't always trust like what's right in front of you sometimes emotions are uh, fleeting sometimes people are fleeting so you need to be around people you need to surround yourself with people that are just as protective of themselves and their projects and their new beginnings as you are with that sword hold on let's pull one more i uh, sorry with that shield let's pull one more card from here and then i'll let you go because I know this is like a lot to digest, dissect, etc. But you guys will know in due time. Or you guys will hear of this in due time. Shuffle for Aries. It's like leaving your journal on a plane. Or like... Yeah, devil, temperance, the good times, the bad times, it's just all out there. It's all out there. You will definitely, you will definitely, definitely know what this is in the next two days. In the next two days. No later than that second day. Yeah, chariot. Chariot. The devil wears Prada. runway on her book for some of you i am seeing um what's her name in that show the the show you 
with the guy Joe, he was like obsessed with Guinevere Beck, but her friend that was really rich and she was like low key in love with her. She was like, she was really rich. She was always like offering her money, offering to like take care of everything, but she was also low key trying to like sabotage her relationship, sabotage her plan, sabotage her career. I'm seeing that with the Devil Wears Prada runway, going back to that Three of Cups energy, just because people are doing well in life too, don't let that fool you as them being good people, you know? They could have all the Prada on in the world, you know, but that doesn't make them a good person. That doesn't make them a stand-up person. Just because they're standing up in those Louboutin shoes, that doesn't make them a stand-up guy, a stand-up girl, you know? So don't let that fool you. Don't let the glitz and the glam fool you. You got to look at people for who they are, you know? I'm not saying everybody that is, you know, well-dressed or likes designer things that doesn't make them all bad people or superficial people you know two things can exist at once but you really gotta judge people by their spirit don't just assume like oh they're doing good for themselves there's no way they're a hater oh they're doing good oh so we just get along no 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 people have deep rooted issues deep ass issues that you would never know a thing about you know so always take that into consideration always take that into consideration and protect yourself but other than that aries that's all i have for you you need your shield and god bless that's it so take care and we'll check back soon